Okay, note cards. What goes on the note cards? There's some difference formulas. We're only going to work worry about cosines today, but I'm going to have you write all four of them down because Monday we're going to hit sines and tangents. So cosine of x plus y equals cosine of x times cosine of y minus sine of x times sine of y, and so on and so forth. So I'll just let you write. Okay, so that's the cosines and sines. And then you got the tangent ones here. That yep, that's it. For today. But we'll have more after this. We'll we'll have um, half angle formulas and double angle formulas and things like that. Yeah. So there's more stuff to go on your note card later. Okay, so note card's good, right? Right? Right. Okay. No? Okay. What time did you guys get back last night? About 11? That's not too bad. All right, here we go. So, what we're doing today is learning how to add things <laughs> like pi over 3 plus pi over 6. 
How do we add pi over 3 plus pi over 6? I love it. Common denominator right off the bat. First things out of your mouth. Great job. 2 pi over 6 plus pi over 6 is what? 3 pi over 2. Which is pi over 2. Boom, boom, boom. Now, what you're going to face today is you're going to have pi over 2 and what two numbers like this make that. So you're going to kind of have to think in the opposite direction of that. Okay? Let's add one more set up. Or well, let's subtract one set. What's pi over 2 minus pi over 6? Well, you need a common denominator. The common denominator is going to be 6. So you multiply by 3 over 3. So it's 3 pi over 6 minus pi over 6 is 2 pi over 6, which is pi over 3. Okay? So we can add and subtract, right? Mm -hmm. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, get out your unit circles. Surprise, surprise, Maggie doesn't have one. <laughs> no, I only have three. Yeah. Okay. So, look at 75 degrees on your unit circle. Where is 75 degrees out in your unit circle? It's not on there, is it? It's somewhere in between. So how do you get 75 degrees? Well, you can take 30 plus 45. So on part of your assignment, you'll find two angles on your unit circle that are up to be the angle that I want. Like 195 degrees equals, what two angles are on there? One fifty and forty-five. I could have said one thirty-five and sixty as well, right? Okay, so you can do that. Now, what if I say I want eleven pi over twelve? What two angles on there add up to eleven pi over twelve? Eleven pi over twelve is not on there, so I need two angles that add up to be eleven pi over twelve. Well, can I add up one pi over twelve and ten pi over twelve? Is one pi over twelve on your unit circle? No, so I can't use one pi over twelve and ten pi over twelve. Mm, I don't know if that would work. Um, Five by over six. No. All right. So we tried one and ten. And that didn't work. How about we try two pi over twelve and nine pi over twelve? Are those on there? Yeah, they are. Just in a different form. So this is. Pi over 6 plus 3 pi over 4. Those are on there. That's how you get pi over 12. Pi over 6 plus 3 pi over 4. You're never going to figure this out? I'm bad at fractions. I'm sorry, but today is all fractions. Not all fractions, but how do we get negative pi over 12? Instead of adding, we're going to subtract. So we've got to find out two numbers that subtract to be 
negative 1 over 12. Now, can I take 0 minus 1? No, because 1 pi over 12 is not on there. Is 2 pi over 12 on there? Yeah, 2 pi over 12 is on there. That's pi over 6. Is 3 pi over 12 on there? Yes, that's pi over 4. Is 4 pi over 12 on there? Yes, that's pi over 3. So we got a bunch of options we can use. So I'm going to use 2 pi over 12 minus 3 pi over 12. 2 pi over 12 is? Minus. Okay. That makes negative 5 over 12. I think we need a little bit more practice on this. Um, let's do another one. Let's say we have 5 pi over 12. We can either add or subtract for this one. What two numbers either add up or subtract to be 5 pi over 12? You are so good, Maggie. How'd she get that so quick? Well, she just looked at the problem above. <laughs> 2 pi over 12 plus 3 pi over 12 is 5 pi over 12, right? So it's just pi over 6 plus pi over 4. Okay. Can you do every problem like that one, actually, where it comes from the problem before? No. Not every problem, but if you kind of figure out that 2 pi over 12 is on your unit circle, 3 pi over 12 is on your unit circle, um, 4 pi over 12 is on your unit circle, 6 pi over 12 is on your unit circle. Yeah, they are. They're just not in that form. Okay. So, for the first half of your assignment, what you'll be doing is adding fractions... Figuring out numbers on your unit circle to equal numbers that aren't on your unit circle. And working with that. Then we actually get to the formulas. Okay? Such as the cosine of 75 degrees. Now, a little earlier we talked about 75 degrees. What two numbers make 75 degrees that are on your unit circle? 30 and 45. So, this is x, this is y. I'm going to figure out what the cosine of 75 is as an exact number. Now, using your note card, cosine of x, cosine of y, and if it has a plus sign in the middle, we're going to use a minus sign. Sine of x, sine of y. Okay? Because if we're adding here, we do subtraction here. So it's a cosine of 30, cosine of 45, minus sine of 30, sine of 45. Looking at your unit circle, what is the cosine of 30 degrees? Square root of 3 over 2. What's the cosine of 45 degrees? Square root of 2 over 2. What's the sine of 30? 1 half. What's the sine of 45? So you get the square root of 6 over 4 minus the square root of 2 over 4, which is the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over 4. That's the format I want your answer in. Square root of 6 over 4. Yes, those are 4s. Whiny, whiny, whiny. Let's do one more of those. Cosine of 165. What two numbers are on the unit circle that add up to 165? Cosine of 30 plus 135. So this is x, this is y, so it's the cosine of 30 
times the cosine of 135 minus the sine of 30 sine of 135. What? So what's the cosine of 30? Square root of 3 over 2. What's the cosine of 135? Negative square root of 2 over 2. Minus. What's the sine of 30? 1 half. What's the sine of 135? Square root of 2 over 2. So we get negative the square root of 6 over 4 minus the square root of 2 over 4. So it's negative square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over 4. Cosine of 165. Cosine of 17 pi over 12. Obviously, 17 pi over 12 is not on your unit circle. So, what two numbers that are on your unit circle add up to 17 pi over 12? Is 1 pi over 12 on your unit circle? No. no. Is 2 pi over 12 on your unit circle? Yes. yes it is. 2 pi over 12 plus what over 12? 15 pi over 12. Yep, it is. Because 2 pi over 12 is pi over 6. 15 over 12 is 5 pi over 4. So, why do we do that part first? Because we... This is not on a unit circle, so we need two numbers that add up to be it that are on the unit circle so we can put the numbers in to replace it. So, we take the cosine of pi over 6 times the cosine of 5 pi over 4 minus the sine of pi over 6 sine of 5 pi over 4. What's the cosine of pi over 6? Pi pi over 4. Negative square root of 2 over 2. Sine of pi over 6. 1 half. Sine of 5 pi over 4. Negative square root of 2 over 2. 5 pi over 4 is 225 degrees. For those of you who haven't located 5 pi over 4 yet. So it's negative square root of 6 over 4 minus a negative square root of 2 over 4. Minus a negative is plus a positive. So it's negative square root of 6 plus square root of 2 all over 4. What have you noticed about the last oh, four problems? It's always square root of 6's and square root of 2's, and they're always square root of 4's. It's just sometimes they're positive, sometimes they're negative. That's what your answers today will be like. No, it's not the square root of 4. Oh, it is not the square root of 4. Sorry for me throwing out wrong words. Okay, let's do one more, and then we're, we're done. Cosine of negative 5 pi over 12. Cosine of negative 5 pi over 12. How do we get to negative 5 pi over 12? Uh, Callie just doesn't have any clue. It's on the unit circle somewhere. It's on the unit circle somewhere. Hmm. We don't want to use 1 pi over 12, do we? No. How about 2 pi over 12? 2 minus what is negative 5? 7. Is 7 pi over 12 going to be on there? No. no. So let's try 3 pi over 12. 3 minus what is negative 5? 
Eight. Eight over 12 is what? Two thirds, right? Eight over 12 is two thirds. Three over 12 is one fourth. Hey, those are both on there. So it's a cosine of 3 pi over 12 minus 8 pi over 12. So it's a cosine of pi over 4 minus 2 pi over 3. Let me just write it out. Cosine of pi over 4, cosine of 2 pi over 3, plus, why is it plus? Because it's, if it's subtraction in there, it's addition down here. That's how it works for cosines. Cosine, or not cosine, come on. Sine of pi over 4, sine of 2 pi over 3. Cosine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of 2 pi over 3. Negative 1 over 2, yeah. So this is square root of 2 over 2. And what's the sine of 2 pi over 3? Square root of 3 over 2. So it's negative square root of 2 over 4 plus square root of 6 over 4, which is negative square root of 2 plus square root of 6 all over 4. Page 179, 3 through 29, the odds. One. How would I get two lessons in on a Friday? Okay, prom meeting this noon for you prom people that are in here. Prom meeting at noon. <laughs> yeah, you just go to Ganya's room. Or you go get lunch and you go to Ganya's room. Oh my god. No. This is what we were discussing this whole class period. Just the yep. effect of this marshmallow on our lives. <laughs> the fourth grade to like the sixth grade that was. In the A's, like this. The A's were always drawn like this. <sighs> the rip that that had on me. Literally. Every single one of us, like, taught ourselves how to only write with that A. That's so embarrassing. And the slides. Do you remember when people use the cell slime in school? Yeah, so then it got bigger and bigger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Do the do the one that looks like it's you're supposed to do it. Oh, it's, it's exercise 3.3. Yeah, not your for your thought. Yeah. We'll do that Monday when everybody's here. We're doing both. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of good at that. Maybe I should bring it back. The A's. Look at them. I'm kind of good at that. I can't really do that. They're pretty. Look at them. Carly. And we always typed in the Indian flower bond.
Just write the two numbers that add up to be it, that are from your unit circle. Thank <laughs> you. 